Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. Got a brand new episode for today. I'm over at Divine Audio Visual. This is their theater room and this is their showroom as well. They have a ridiculous wall of clips over here and I'm here with Warren and Derek. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over to them and they're gonna explain what they do. Um, and then you guys can actually give them a shout if you guys want any of this stuff in your house. Hey guys, all right, so this is our showroom. This is Divine Audio Visual. My name is Warren Packer. This is my brother, Derek. Um, and what we mostly work with is Klipsch. You know, so Klipsch products, we're a huge fan of them because that company has a lot of passion for what they do and they create a really high quality product for a little I mean, bit lower price point. You gotta like a speaker a little bit to buy 20 of them for your front stage. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're really big on Klipsch. It's one of our favorite products. But more importantly, with us, we are DFW's premier uh, custom installer. So we make um, custom built screens. I can do any screen down to a 16th of an inch. So I can go anywhere from 110 up to 250. I have a few 253 inch screens out here in Frisco, Texas. I got, we got a two story home theater that we've done, but we, we range, all of our theaters range from, you know, $2,000 theaters all the way up to 15, 20, 30, 40,000. So, but our biggest thing is our custom built screens. We build custom built screens and then we build uh, center channel brackets that we make for uh, pointing it up so we can get it to the ear, the listener's ear level. Exactly. So with our screens, we're building 16 by 9 curved screens and flat screens. We're also building 2.39 curved screens and flat screens. So we can build any size we can fit to any environment, which is a pretty cool thing that we do. Um, we've, we've done work for Cinemark Theaters. We do some calibration for them. Uh, we've installed a few theaters for them, and we do, um, we do professional RTA calibration for Cinemark and for all of our home theaters throughout DFW. Every job is professionally RTA calibrated, so we're not actually just using the Odyssey mic and those little $1 mics that come with the system. We're using a full-on professional setup and adjusting the individual frequencies and the full range of your hearing. Talk about our subs. So yeah, uh, we, we build our own custom built subwoofers. So we go anywhere from a 10 inch, eight inch sub all the way up to a 24 inch sub. So, so what, what, what we'll do is we'll, we'll get our box custom made, we'll put our subwoofer in it, we'll put about 1500 watts to it, depending on the type of sub that you're going for. If you wanna shake the entire block, we can put up to 4000 watts to it. <laughs> if you wanna shatter your windows out, we're, we'll do a video on that later too. I wanna for see sure, we talked about that last night. We wanna to try to break <laughs> windows out of you know something and showcase this on YouTube, it should be fun. We have a full 7.2.4 Dolby Atmos setup with multiple options among the whole Reference Premiere lineup. Derek, go ahead and take over and explain Yeah, so we, we got, got everything from the Reference Premiere lineup. So we have every tower, we got the 4000F, 5000, 6000, 8000, and then the Reference 3 RF73s, and then we have your 600M bookshelves, which is one of the top rated bookshelves in the world right now. Uh, we also have all your center channels, um, we have the 600, the uh, 404, 504, and RC64. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't put the 400 or the 500C in here because this 600 will blow it away, so we only wanted the really good stuff. Exactly. And then, Warren, you want to talk about the Heritage Bar? Yeah, a bit? we have this. This is a really cool product. This is the Heritage Bar by Klipsch, and this bar has your left, center, and right channels within it. It's a passive sound bar. It actually hooks up to a receiver, and it's a very different experience from, from every sound bar that you've experienced on the market. It can come in an array of different finishes. This is custom, it does cost a little bit more from Klipsch. It does come in an array of different finishes, which is pretty cool. And uh, you can choose different grill covers. And they will custom build all the way up to- uh, 82 inches. 82 yeah. inches, yeah. It starts so at can, 42 and it goes up to 82. Yeah, you can so get the exact cool. size of the TV that's in your living room. Yeah. If it's a 55 inch TV, they can make it all the way down to 55 to do the exact- Exactly, they'll custom there. build to a quarter of an inch. Yes. So it's pretty cool. But yes, home theater dude, they probably should have put this tweeter in the center for symmetry. Yeah, we were just That's talking about that earlier. <laughs> it would be nice to have it symmetrical. But, but it is behind a grill, so. Yeah. And it kind of, you know, it's magnetic, oh, sticks on there. Almost forgot about our subwoofers. So yeah, uh, last but not least, we got the SPL 120 from the Reference Premier line and the 308. Mm -hmm. um, we have a 310 as well that we can show you later, and then we have an SPL 150 in the back. Yeah, the 308 is a really cool woofer because it has an active driver and two passive drivers on the side. So it actually creates a little bit more bass in a smaller chamber. It goes a little bit deeper than the standard eight inch would go. We're excited and we'll do a video with him about the 312 that's gonna come out soon. That should rock our socks. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty excited about that. All right, so here's our rack setup. We got a pretty nice cabinet here. Um, these things are super solid. They have fan cooling up top. 
you know, we can get you these. Uh, they come in a larger size and a smaller size. Pretty solid setup. Um, we have the uh, Yamaha. This is actually the 3070. The 3080 is out now as well. Very, very similar devices. Dolby Atmos, DTSX, they have 11-channel 11, 11 processing. Um, we have an external amplifier here. We've got a Yamaha WXA right inside there, and that's powering our other, uh, our rear presence speakers. Um, this is our crown amplifier. It's 300 watts per channel, and that is powering our RF7.3s. We want to give them a little bit more punch, you know, in the, in the low-end frequencies, and that thing rocks, you know, and it's extremely affordable. It's like those are under 1500 bucks, and you can put a huge amount of power. It's from the commercial world, so you don't get as low total harmonic distortion, but it does a pretty darn good job if you don't want to spend a ton of money on a Rotel or something like that. So uh, yeah, speaker selector, we can switch between any of the different reference premiere setups in here. We can show you a 512, a 712, a 714, 514, whatever you're looking for. And uh, usually we'll come down to your house, we'll do a custom you know, consultation estimation, and then we'll bring you here and show you that exact setup that we quoted. So anyway, in the rear here, in the rear, we actually have a bipolar speaker. The only reason we chose to go with a bipolar 502S is because we don't really have the depth in the room that we wanted. So in, by putting a bipolar here, when you're sitting right up against this back wall, you can actually still get a little bit of an experience as, as if it sounds coming from behind you. Um, ideally, we would prefer a you know, front firing speaker. So we have the actual 3650W in-wall speaker here, a little bit older generation. The Pro 160 or the Pro 180 RPW would be a good modern choice from Klipsch. Up overhead. All right, we do not have a ceiling in our room, so we have created boxes. These are ported chambers, which actually increases low in frequency response on these Pro 160 RPC speakers. Um, these speakers are extremely cool because they actually have a tweeter that is suspended above the main driver, which allows that main driver to really hit hard. You've got great excursion on that speaker because of that, and we can get a lot of low frequency response out of those units. This is a four, four uh, speaker setup overhead to create our 11 channel system with Dolby Atmos object based sound. Um, speaker placement is absolutely crucial in the space. And uh, if you're going to create object-based sound with Dolby Atmos. So that's something that we'll talk about when you come in and we'll choose the exact speaker type for your setup. All right, guys. So up top for projection, we have the Sony 295ES. This thing is an awesome projector. It's got native 4K resolution, so you get a really nice, clean picture. It's only got about 1,500 lumens, which is a little low on that scale there. So what I would say is go with a, at least a 1.0 or 1.1 gain screen and that'll bring up that brightness just a bit. The contrast will still be completely awesome. That thing's got amazing dark tones. Uh, this new one does have an 18 gigabit per second HDMI port. So you do get that 4K 60 Hertz HDR. It is completely awesome. Um, there's another projector that's awesome we have in the other room, which is the Epson 4050. It's a nice budget unit. It's $2399 retail, and it's, it's extremely bright. That thing is like 23, 2400 lumens, so it puts out huge brightness. It does not have native 4K. It's a 4K upscaling projector, but it's a good budget entry-level 4K enhanced option, so something to go with. We carry the full Epson lineup here. We also carry JVC and Sony, and they all make great projectors these days. All right, so at Divine AV, we do professional RTA calibration. We use a real-time analyzer in your space and set up professional reference microphones in various locations in the room. And we're tuning the individual frequencies in the full range of your hearing. So basically, what we can do is take almost any speaker and adjust it, and it, when, when we're finished with our adjustments, it literally sounds like twice the speaker it was before that RTA calibration. Ain't she a beaut? I, I bet you could talk to New York on this thing. <laughs> Think bigger. California? Bigger. Australia? Oh. All right, so uh, this is just one of my more basic setups. Um, you can see the spectrum analyzer here, and it's actually, it'll read every frequency in the full range of my voice here, and so that's sort of what we do in the home theater. We'll come in and we'll play white noise and pink noise, which we're playing balanced frequencies. So we're playing, we're playing a full range sound that's playing every frequency at the same sound pressure level at the same time. And then we're able to manipulate those frequencies to try to create the most balanced sound within your space. The bottom line is 
we can make your system sound better. Even if you have an array of different speakers, even if you have different brands throughout the space, everyone's always saying don't mix brands. As long as you're not really mixing the front stage, if you have different branded side surrounds and rears and overheads, we can really tweak the room to try to get that sound to be as, as close as possible. So you've got something called timber, and the timber is the type of sound that's sort of coming off of the speaker. And that can become challenging to tune with if you have multiple different types of materials on the speakers. So with the RTA calibration, you can really manipulate frequencies to try to match those speakers as, clo as closely as possible. So it's a huge benefit. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna go in this video here. This was the uh, walk around and demo of the Divine Audio Visual type of uh, showroom that they have. We showed you guys their amazing screens. These things are nuts, man. I really, really enjoy these. If you guys want me to have one of these, comment down below. And over here, we debuted all of their, um, well, we, we didn't debut, but we showed you guys the differences in between their babies, the 4000s, all the way up to the RF7 threes. And then in this room, we also did a Dolby Atmos um, demo. Overhead, we have four of the Dolby Atmos, and then we have the Sony 295 as our projection. So I was sitting in here, and this guy right here, he does what I do just to an extreme level, and he, you know, he's very meticulous in sound. Yes, and you guys know I love sound. So the thing that I, I, I you know, beat my head over the last couple of weeks was trying to get my, you know, brand new processor, my preamp processor. I try to get it dialed in, right? And this guy, what he does is he comes out to your house, he sets up all of his fancy instruments, and then he makes each one of your speakers sound amazing so that whenever you actually have your demo going, everything is perfect and pristine, and I can't wait to get that treatment. So if you guys want that treatment done in my place, go ahead and comment down below. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen yet. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to my buddy uh, Warren over here. Yeah, thank you so much for coming down, man. I really appreciate it. 
it was awesome. We had a great time with you, and I'm really looking forward to... Um, we listen to some Cardi B. Yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. yeah. I'm really looking forward to getting down to your place and, and really dialing in your system. It, it looks really sick, so I'm super excited about that. And uh, What's going on in this thing, man? Okay, okay. Hey, guys. Derek with Divine AV here. Heading into the office is just another day. Love my job. You know what? It's going to be a good one. Okay. Go ahead. I, I got this really cool guy coming. It was so cool. I, I reached out to him and, and uh, you know, hit him up. Well, I'm trying to learn about audio calibration right here. Come on. That's right. No, but I really want you to meet this guy. He knows all about home theater, and he's, he's just a, he's a really smart guy. I don't want to meet some nobody, man. No, I don't care. He ain't wrong. He help us with our business and everything. He's, he's got this channel on YouTube. He's called, like, That Home Theater Dude or, whoa, or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bruh. Did you just say That Home Theater Dude? Yeah, he's, he's like this guy. He's got, like, this awesome beard and everything. He's no, so no, cool. bro, 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 bro. He's got, like, this awesome setup online and stuff, you know? And you, you're talking about this dude? I, I, can't, I can't handle that. Hey, guys, incoming. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, no. Wait, wait, where are you going? No, I'm, I'm too scared, man. I can't, I can't talk to you. I'm too scared. Mercedes, where, what, what, why are you leaving? Are you back, Rose? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Hey. That home theater, dude. What's up, guys? That beard, though. Mm hmm. Well, dude, uh, there you have it.